Hello again, I am Blunty and this is my iPad. Now, I'm still undecided whether or not I should do a full review of this thing because it's only just arrived in Australia, it's been out for a while in the US. There are tons and tons and tons of reviews out there for it already, so I really don't know if you guys need another review. Oh, in short, I love it. Buy one. What I am here today to show you is a little trick I found out when I bought the uh, camera kit, which is these two little devices here, and one is designed to put uh, SD media cards in there and the other one has a little USB port on there and these are so you can get photos instantly from your camera uh, into your photo library so there you can edit them or upload them or tweak them or uh, if you've got mp4 videos uh, on there as well you can transfer those across and use an editing program on there and upload them to YouTube and wherever all from your iPad which is really cool now the functionality of this is fairly straightforward this works really brilliantly, but we're not going to talk about that one. You can put that aside. What we're going to talk about this one is the one with the USB because it has a couple of other features that uh, aren't documented, basically. It plugs into the docking port around the side here. Oops. Let's try that again. Plugs into the docking port around the side there. It syncs perfectly with your iPhone and also your iPod if you've got the one with the camera on it, of course, you can plug it in there. And the wonderful thing about this is it's really simple because the instant you plug it in, it recognizes it and opens it up straight away. Boom, there you go. Instant import for all your photos and videos on there. Couple of clicks and you're done. It's really fantastic. However, that's all standard functionality. We knew about that. We knew that could do that. The thing I found out about this is, let's unplug it there. If you have a USB microphone, like this fella here, which I use in a lot of my voiceover videos. It's a really awesome microphone. It's the uh, CO3U by uh, Samson. Not cheap, but awesome. And if you plug this into the USB connection here, and we'll just get rid of that, and open up a voice recording application, it does actually record from this mic. Bang, bang, bang. See the line jump there? And if I bring it up to my mouth here, what you're actually hearing now, I've switched away from the camera microphone, and you're actually hearing the recording I'm making right now as I record this review. And uh, it works perfectly. Not only that, but let's just stop this recording here. And that's a standard USB microphone. It is designed exactly for plugging into USB ports. But let's say you've got another microphone that isn't a USB microphone. And you happen to have one of these little doobies, the iMic, which is designed to plug into your USB on your Mac or PC, or it works on Linux, it works on every computer I've ever plugged it into. It's a brilliant little device. You've got an in and an out, a microphone and a line switch, so you can go in line input. I use this for recording of sound decks and everything, or microphones, and it, you plug it in and it just works on any computer you could name. The funny thing is, it also works on this. So if we plug it into there, and then we grab my nice little studio mic here, which is a Rode M3, which is my favorite microphone that I own, because it is brilliant. It does not have a USB mic on it, but if we go into the iMic right here, go into the input, we switch it into microphone mode, and if we press record there, now you've got what equates to, you can plug any line source, any microphone that has the, you've got an adapter for the 3.5 mil on there, and this microphone actually has a XLR clip in the bottom there which is just a little conversion cable there and it works perfectly as you can hear again I've switched from the uh, the main recording here over to the recording I'm making right now on my iPad so what you now have is basically an ultra mobile recording studio with a deadly battery life on the damn thing you've got your your own field recorder here you've got your own podcasting uh, station here because there are apps designed to edit and mix audio as well so you can you can record an entire podcast on here. You can use this for field recording if you're away from your camera. You set your camera up and you use this uh, to, re to record uh, an interview or whatnot. Or, or you can leave it sitting uh, on the table if, you, if you're at a sit-down interview. You, it, it just opens up so many friggin' doors for you. And this is a completely undocumented function of the camera kit. Nowhere in any of the documentation does it say it will work with microphones and stuff, but it does. It'll even work with a microphone, USB microphone headset to get audio in and out. So if you're using the Skype application, for instance, you can use the headset on and get much better recording uh, quality there. It's brilliant. And I just stumbled across that as I was futzing about with it. So there you go. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm Lundy. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, 
probably come back to you with a lot more uh, app reviews and things like that. And like I said, I don't know whether I'll do a full review on the iPad, but I'll certainly do uh, application and game reviews on it in the future because I love doing the iPhone ones and the iPad is wicked. Catch you next time.